What's up guys, today we're going to talk about Canadian Disruptive Pattern, also known as CAD Pat, and generally just about CAD Pat in general, guys. So stay tuned and let's get to it. Canada developed CAD Pat in the mid-1990s and it was the world's first ever digital pattern as we know it. There was first, there were digital patterns before, like dual text, 1970s, and some other like here and there camos, but this was really the first ever like mainstream digital camo. And you know, the US copied of all sorts of other branches and we'll get there, but we're mainly just going to talk about Canada productions of CAD Pat, nothing about the repros, or I might talk a little bit about the repros, but just stay tuned guys and we're going to talk about it. So here we have an officially issued Canadian Army uh, CAD Pat, or BOCAF CAD Pat uh, uniform top, and this is the first gen. So you had um, the first gen, which was directly copied after OG 107 tops, Canadian OG 107 tops. It had exposed Canadian buttons, two lower bellow pockets, which are really big, and has some waterproofing, waterproof material on the inside. But again, this is the first generation. You have a th about three generations. So you have the first generation, I'm kind of reading off my script here. The first generation, which have exposed Canadian buttons, the kind of buttons you have here, these are exposed Canadian buttons. But then you have mid gen, that which have covered buttons, and the latest gen have zippered pockets. So a quick review of the Canadian tunic top here, is we have these you know, can exposed Canadian buttons on the inside. On the left side pocket, you do not have a um, waterproof section in it, but these can fit like a phone or like a magazine. I don't think they can fit like a, a C782 magazine, but you know what I mean. Same thing on this side, but they don't have a waterproof pocket inside, but they do have this waterproof material, kind of like Gore-Tex, where you can uh, where you can put something so like if you're crawling around, you don't get like, the water in there. And then you have these other these two bottom pockets here, and on the inside you have this Velcro pocket where you can stash things and it's pretty big velcro pocket fit your entire hand in there it is completely waterproof or mostly waterproof so you can put like you know, valuable documents or whatever have them both po pockets and you have a exposed uh not really exposed um yeah but yeah kind of exposed yeah exposed canadian button um button top button closure here and you open that up you have a drawstring on each side and you have the official tag we'll get to that later and then you have an interior pocket on the left side which this is a faded, mainly faded uh, Canadian cap hat top. Got it for like 50 bucks or something like that. But then you have a, you know, this is not fits. It wasn't in the sun that much. And then you have an interior pocket here, which is very cool. Moving up on the cap hat shirt, on the elbows here, you have some elbow reinforcements. Here on the left side, it's pretty worn down, but still very good. And you have this opening here for when you can, I don't know, fucking ventilation or something. And you also have these buttons here. Where you can unbutton. And you can expose your arm just like that. You also have a Canadian flag patch. This is really hyper Pacific here. Um, it's Velcro. Damn. But you can um, adjust height like this, so on and so forth. Put it all the way down, but it's where Can Canadian flag goes. Elbow reinforcements, like I said. And you also have some uh, name tape here area where you can put your name tape. Talking about a little bit of CAD Pat and like its derivatives, you have a CAD Pat Arid, which what came after, you know, the Canadian forces were in like Afghanistan for a little bit and they didn't literally had no digital pattern. Didn't have any desert camo, so they made Canadian Cad Pat Arid, which is just Cad Pat flipped uh, vertically and uh, basically an analog copy, kind of like a DCU, but not flipped vertically with its uh, tans and browns and so on and so forth. You also had another variant, which is called um, Cad Pat J or a Cad Pat MT. You know, this is Cad Pat TW, which is Tempered Woodland, and Cad Pat MT or J is basically their attempt at a multi cam S pattern, and it kind of looks like Sure Pad almost. And a CAD Pat Multi Terrain is basically a more adaptive camouflage pattern it's supposed to like, you know, kind of be a competitor with Multicam. And it features like grays, tans, and so on and so forth. And yeah, that's basically all the three main patterns of CAD Pat. Completely spaced this variant of CAD Pat, but here we go. Hyper Stealth unveiled in 2011. Q Pat, Q Pat version 1, Q Pat version 2, which is a Hyper Stealth looking pattern. It doesn't really look that much like CAD Pat, but it is a variant of CAD Pat, sort of. It's Q Pat, and it was made for urban environments. Hyper Stealth was also the same company that made the Spectre uniform for the Afghan National Army. We're out here from a top down view. I wanted to make it, make it clear that CAD Pat and the material. This CAD pad is world renowned. Real CAD pad is like renowned for its NIR performance under night vision stuff. And this is no normal fabric, guys. This is a very unique fabric. As you guys can see, it's like a twill. It's not really a twill, but it's kind of like twill. It almost looks like poplin to me for some reason. But it's really light and uh, airy. It's almost like a sumac material, if you know what I'm talking about, the Russian sumac. This is a very good CAD pad shape there. Canadian buttons up close, very nice quality. And also, here's some waterproof pockets. In case you guys were curious, that's what it looks like. This material is very light and very airy, but it's definitely you can when you when you guys see this and compare it to like actual twill, this is a very interesting material. That's what the material looks like up close. Very, very cool. Looking here at the tag here, and like the I think this is the bottom. Yeah, the bottom left. Here's what the tag says. Gets all the, the size and stuff. So this is like a 7344, which means 73 height, I think, in inches. No, so not uh I don't remember the tag means, but all I know is a 44 is um the chest size. 
there you go you usually have a date here where it tells you um how old it is and like when it was made and this was uh, apparently a 2000 2006 or 8 issue which is very nice it's very early gives you your nsn and all that very cool it's in french because you know canadians are basically french people so i like that but i really like how this faded cap hat looks almost reminds me of the muted side of uh the 6sh 122 the autumn side very nice but here's a closer look at it there's been a couple holes added a pair here um, right above here there's this hole here um on the hamstring there's all there's, oh yeah there's only like, you know one layer of uh, fabric it's very light guys I haven't stressed that a lot but i had to repair this hole here but across this entire hem here this entire uh like hemming string there's places where the fabric is completely blown out and it's going to need repair or you know you just, you just leave it if you want but over here you can see it's completely coming undone look at that it's completely coming undone here but yeah, this is just a tunic this is a real issue tunic and uh, there's several other garments that come in cad pat you have gloves helmet covers you have their gore-tex top and bottoms which are referred to by as ice jackets there and um you also have some commercial copies i have a commercial uh, pants they're by a frontenet company something like that but i thought they were real but they're they are real cad pat material but they are a different cut and apparently they are like used by like, actual service members that preferred over this but it's very hard to get commercial copies of um cad pat because you know how hyper regulated it is and you know the a legal jargon when it comes to copying it and stuff but i know artists make some good smocks and pants front neck like i mentioned before like several other here and there canadian companies that you know i don't really know the names of but i know they do exist a lot of canadian service members um try and get um aftermarket gear because issued stuff is kind of bad you know this, this shirt is a uh, you know fucking falling apart of this ship you can see the, these holes here it's very light material and this is it's, it will get destroyed this is like you know 20 years old too so some guy really had to use this stuff it's really light material i don't know if they have a temper they don't have i don't know if they have a winter version of this but this this feels like summer weight dude it's, it's very light not necessarily what i would like to have like a canadian winter but you know they do have their ice jacket and stuff they also have you know the pajamas the fleece and so on and so forth we just talk about that forever they also have a uh, boots and stuff all right so the simple overview of the cad pat tunic or at least the first and early gen as you have these two front pockets here, model after the OG 107 top, the Canadian OG 107 top, Velcro name tape. You have your epaulet here, chest epaulet. You have a secret pocket back here, which is closed by some coyote Velcro, which you can see, you know, you can see the big outline of that. You have these two lower bellow pockets with an interior massive uh, waterproof pocket, like Gore-Tex or something. And then you have elbow reinforcements. You have a wrist blouse. You also have a waist drawstring, then you have a lower waist drawstring here, which was removed, but it was on the external side. You can see the grommets and stuff. You have drain grommets in each, but you do, where's, where'd it go? I know damn well that there was supposed to be one. Maybe, there, yeah, nope. Well, I guess it wasn't a waist drawstring, fuck. But, but then you also have this collar here, buttons all the way up, nice Canadian buttons, and it's the base go over here to the top. Well, I hope you guys got something out of this shitty uh, cad pad tunic overview. I was just trying to make a video quickly about it, and it's probably going to you know, turn out like shit, but, you know, now you might know a little bit more about Cat Pet, you know, a little bit more about Satanic and Generations, and it's made of the U.S. copies of it. Thank you guys for watching, and stay tuned. There might be some more Cat Pet coming, and I'll probably get around to those front and neck pants here soon, and I might do an entire quick Cat Pet uniform overview. You know, not everything is going to be issued. But, um, you know, cat pet's kind of hard to get. Go watch Oxide's Uniform Breakdown and go watch um, Uniform History's cat pet camera history if you want to actually, you know, learn something. And then just fucking listen to me ramble about some other shit that I just have no idea about. I literally have, like, zero knowledge about cat pet. I just bought this shit on a whim because I wanted to.